10 things to do for your business during this coronavirus pandemic lockdown. We're getting into it right now. Hey, my name is Ainsley Stewart and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time on, then on this channel, I share with you tips, tools, and strategies to build and grow a profitable business online. I share with you some of the things I would have picked up along the way during my journey so that you can avoid some of the landmines, some of the business doo-doo as it were, and you can spare your shoes, spare your legs, and cut your learning curve in half so if that sounds like stuff you'd be interested in then definitely hit the subscribe button click the notification bell so that i can send a notice every time i upload a new video which is pretty regular on this channel so all that said all the preliminaries out of the way let's get into the tips if you're watching this video way after the coronavirus pandemic lucky you because at the recording of this video this time this is a crazy crazy time uh, both for people and businesses. Uh, people are asked to stay indoors. Um, businesses are shut down. Uh, there's no idea when the how the economy is gonna bounce back because the economy is in shambles, and it's just a crazy, crazy time. I've I've heard some some really bad news that people um, there has been an increase in suicides. People are losing their minds, having to stay indoors and it's, it's just a crazy time so all we can do as entrepreneurs is just be prepared to hit the ground running at, on the other side of this corona pandemic so without further delay let's dive into the tips that i personally use uh, or i'm doing now because we're still on lockdown to prepare my business for the post corona period tip number one is to clean up shop so basically you want to take inventory right look at your computer desktop if it's anything like mine then it's absolutely crazy you can't find things so do a little cleanup even if you have to hire a child or or a va or somebody to kind of put things in a in a proper order so that it's easy to find what about uh projects that you would have started before the coronavirus period are you going to continue are you going to shell those projects so you're just taking inventory and you're tying up loose ends so that in preparation for that post coronavirus period that you're going to be able to hit the ground running and you wouldn't really miss a beat tip number two so after you clean up shop what you want to do is set up a continuity plan you're going to chart your way forward you're going to look at your business goals revise your business goals your vision your mission statement etc and look at those things and see if they need tweaking if they need revisiting if they need refreshing and uh, if that is the case do what you have to do to create a continuity plan for your business even though for many it might be restarting your business so you can look at it like that if it helps to look at if you are now starting a business so the things you would do when you're now starting a business would be you know setting up goals monetary goals what size are you gonna be are you gonna hire etc etc so these are the things you're gonna do in your continuity plan chart your way forward tip number three you need to to create some kind of contact policy some kind of contact plan on how are you going to stay in touch with your customers your client you can't just leave them like that and just come out of the woodwork after the covid period has passed you should be using this period to stay in contact with them by whether virtually via Zoom, via phone call, using social media to stay connected to your clients and your customers. So question, what are you doing for your business during this COVID pandemic crazy period? Leave it down in the comments down below. I would definitely love to hear from you. Let's continue. Tip number four is self-care. Now you might be asking, Ainsley, how, how is self-care gonna help me with my business? So let me ask you this, without you, how is your business gonna survive? So you need to take care of yourself. So eating good food, staying healthy, exercising, as far as possible, if, you, if restrictions are starting to slack and you can exercise outdoors, try and get some outdoor exercise. Practice gratitude and positivity. And all of these things are gonna keep you in check. As I mentioned in the intro, there has been an increase of suicides, etc. And some people just can't handle being cooped up for too long. But you, entrepreneur, are going to take care of yourself. 
Now, part of taking care of yourself is also reading. Now, if you're looking for some recommendations and some good business books to read, check out this video. You might actually find some good ones in there. So tip number five is trim the fat. And now I'm not talking about weight loss here. I'm talking about those extra expenses that are unnecessary. So it might be personal expenses, maybe Netflix, maybe something that is unnecessary so you can get rid of that or just take inventory and look at things that you're paying monthly for that you may not need, especially as a business. For example, I would have gone through my subscriptions of tools that I pay monthly for to run a business online and a lot of them I decided to get rid of at least for now, you know, and just strip down to the bare minimum necessities because that is gonna help you to retain cash, have liquid cash on hand to be able to navigate during this uncertain period. Tip number six I throw in for those who don't yet have an online presence and that is to develop an online plan. Ask yourself, is there any part of my business that I can offer online? Because post COVID, the online offer offerings are going to increase because of the new norms where we can't be because of the social distancing etc that is going to be the new norm having an online presence is going to be key for a business surviving post school for example if you're into retail sales think about uh, creating an online store and maybe offering some of these some of these things to, to give people the the ability to purchase online it there's gonna come a time where that is gonna be a bare minimum to have an online presence a lot of people were avoiding it before but post covid that's gonna be a bare minimum so think about and maybe find someone who has those skill sets who has an existing business online and maybe chat with them and see what ideas you can come up with to be able to pivot and create offers online for your business so that you can still survive even post covid all right, tip number seven is to create a content strategy. So once you come online, understand this information is key. And the new purchase part of consumers these days is to follow the people that they know, like, and trust, and they eventually buy from. So you have to provide that information that leads people, that content, that value, that leads people towards what you have to offer that can make their life easier, that can solve a problem or issue that they have. So you want to create that content strategy. How are you going to offer the content? Through which platform? Is it through social media? Is it through video marketing, email marketing? There are so many. So do your research and see if you could come up with a content strategy that can take you forward through post COVID. Now, if you already have an existing content strategy and you have content out there, the next tip, tip number eight, is to update content that you already have. So this is part of the cleaning up process as well. You want to update some of the outdated content that you may have had already existing. Whether to update your videos, update your blogs, whatever is the case, you can, tip number eight, you can update the content that you already have existing. Tip number nine is to be transparent. Be transparent with your audience, customers, clients about your current situation. Now you don't have to go into extensive detail as to your situation, but be transparent. Let them know what to expect because this period provides a lot of uncertainty. And if you can be transparent with them, then coming out post COVID, they are going to realize that you have always been open with them you have this open relationship they will trust you and trust brings business so they would not stray far from you if you are if you continue to be transparent with them also you may want to be transparent with your team if you have that business model where you have a team involved be transparent with your team you may even have to have that difficult conversation of having to let people go but don't paint this rosy false picture about where your business is at and then later down the road, it is even worse. So be transparent with your clients, customers, be transparent with your team, and be transparent with yourself as well. So that is tip number nine. And tip number 10 is to show up. Don't get buried, don't become obscure. Show up, show up through your content, show up for your customers, your clients. Give them a call, find out how they're doing. You know, in this uncertain time, how they're making out financially, etc. Show up be there for your customers and clients because 
during COVID, post COVID, there are still going to be problems that you might have the services or the products to be able to resolve. There are still going to be problems existing even after COVID is gone. And maybe the final vaccine or resolution to this thing, there are still going to be problems that exist that you might have the, the, the ability to resolve. So show up and be there for your clients, be there for your customers. And a bonus tip, tip. This bonus tip is to sharpen your ax. So along with the self-care, you want to sharpen your ax. You want to maybe pivot and learn new skills during this time that can help you take your business forward. You may not have had business online before, so you may want to take a course reach out reach out to, to reach out to influencers or mentors or take on coaching or whatever is the case to be able to sharpen your axe so that in preparation for post covid you can actually hit the ground running so that you can have a profitable business so that's it for now see you in the next video like subscribe leave a comment and you will definitely want to watch this video next